Hi folks, it's Farmer Tom here and I'm back with my samples of the different crops that we grow in the field. And I did say I'd check in uh, with you guys to show you what's happening. Um, and I'll just take you along, alphabetical order as usual, uh, pedant for that kind of thing. Uh, and we'll start with the barley. So here we are, this is spring sown barley. It was sown uh, at the, uh, in about the middle of March. So six weeks later, it's looking pretty well. It's starting stem extension, so it's starting to grow up. It looks a little bit like a, a like slightly pale coloured, which normally suggests um, uh, that it's um, deficient. Probably there'll probably be a bit of, um, we'll find it might be a bit of manganese or something like that. And you can see some of those lower leaves are, are dying off as well. That said, there are a lot of plants in there, so it could be that that's what the issue is. There's lots of plants in there. You don't want too many plants, otherwise they can't all get access to the nutrients they need. So moving on to the beans, they're looking pretty well. As you can see, they're starting to shoot up. Um, they haven't had any disease or anything, so that's looking good. There's a little weed there, which I can, uh, which I can take out while we chat. Um, uh, and what they'll do is they'll, they'll shoot up and then probably in a few weeks, they'll come into flower, which will be beautiful. I'll, uh, uh, I'll show you those when they come on. Uh, and also in flower, actually, very, very soon is our linseed. The linseed's doing the same thing. It's starting to grow up, but it'll eventually be about this tall, about twice the height. Uh, and as you can see at the end there, that's where it's starting to grow from. And it won't be long before we get some lovely, lovely um, coloured flowers, which will be similar to the wisteria at the back there. But they'll be slightly uh, bluer colour. Um, moving on, what's this? These are our oats. Um, they look similar to, still look similar to the barley. They've got a slightly more rounded leaf. And again, they're pretty, uh, pretty densely packed in there, which I think is why they're slightly lighter in colour. Um, I might put a bit of um, nutrient on there just to help them along, but we'll see. Um, but they're looking pretty good at the moment. I'm also looking well, although a bit of a patchy establishment you can say, maybe there's been a bit of a predation going on there, are our peas. They look a lot more like peas now. They're starting to get that kind of rangy, um, almost hairy kind of pea look. Uh, and they're starting to grow up. And again, they'll come into flower like the beans uh, in a few weeks time. So it'll be interesting to see how they look. Uh, and then moving on finally was our, our wheat. And you remember we planted, I accidentally planted winter wheat at the end here, which is growing up nice and tall. And then I had to replant some spring wheat here. Um, so that's looking, um, all looking pretty good. Um, it was much later planted than everything else, but it's coming on uh, pretty well. Um, I'll keep it watered. Uh, I'll, keep, I'll keep all these um, maintained and well looked after. And I might put a little bit of nutrient on our oats uh, and on our barley. Um, but here we are on the uh, 2nd of May. Uh, it's all looking pretty well. You can see a big difference uh, between the different species. You couldn't see early on when they started to grow the difference, but now they're starting to come into their own, have their own characteristics. So we'll check in again in a couple of weeks, see how they're getting on, see if we've got some flowers in our linseed, our beans and peas. But for now, have a good day, bye.